No, my original name is Alex Joseph, uh, 28. Yeah, I'm from Sennybridge. Um, well, we live, my, my husband and I live in Sennybridge now, and my um, husband's family live by Penakai, so not far, from, not far from here. Colburn yeah. direction near Henrith Falls. And then my family um, come from Fleecewen, which is the other side of Brecon. Um, I work for Natural Resources Wales. Um, I work um, as a woodland advisor. So I go out to sites and see how kind of um, suitable they are for planting. So I've only been with them for two years. Right. So my, my background is kind of predominantly um, infrastructure. So that's with like on, on dairy and beef farms. So like going out and giving advice on like slurry storage, silage clamps, oil, oil storage. But now I've kind of gone into the woodland industry. So, um, so um, Woody's family, um, quite interestingly, Eddie lived in Colburn, um, in like in a small little house with I think there was a large family, and he started working on a farm down the road um, when he was very young. I think he was like ten years old or something, and um, uh, the owners of the farm actually left him the farm because he'd like worked there for so long. They didn't have any like children of the, their own, um, so that's kind of where my husband's family comes from. Um, so Eddie kind of ran the farm then with his wife Shirley um, up until he died um, probably about four years ago. So it's a hill farm, it's about a thousand acres and it joins, it joins Canoe Estate. Um, but yeah, so they were mainly like hill farming, sheep farming and it was like really, really, really rural so they didn't really used to go out much or anything like the farm was their life. And when they first moved there they didn't have electric or water or anything like that so they had to get all of that um, sorted. No, I wasn't born there, but my, um, my partner, his father was born there. Um, so that now his family have all moved back to the farm, so they all live there. My partner, and my husband and I live in Sennybridge, but his family, like his mum and dad live there at the minute, so eventually, well, maybe we might, we might end up moving there. So, um, so he grew up in Cardiff, um, but he is basically farming there with his dad now, kind of him and his brother both farming there. Um, his brother, basically his brother's a lawyer in London and then Woody um, works for the, um, like a private healthcare service. Um, but they both kind of come back to the farm then to help their family, like his mum and his dad, when they need it. So for like lambing and other, other kind of things. And then my mum and dad, I grew up on a farm. So I grew up in Cleeswam, which is just outside of the Bracken Beacons, on a beef and sheep farm. So, yeah. Yeah, lambing, um, just like every, everything farming growing up really. It was a really good life, life to have. You just kind of get out and get out in the, you know, on the farm, and um, there's no technology then, so like no mobiles when we were younger. So all of our entertainment was like playing in the stream, you know, making a swing out with the sheep, out with the dogs. You know, it's all really well, nice life to have. Young farmers, yeah. yeah so I was in young farmers from when I was 12 until I was 20, yeah, 26. But it was a good time. You know, lots yeah, of competitions, just... lots of drinking, um, you know, good, go to ba odd barn dance and, um, yeah, you make, like, friends for life there. It's, like, a really good, solid foundation. Yeah, I don't think I've ever wanted to leave, kind of, like, the rural industry. Like, it's kind of, like, in my blood, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't think I would have ever done anything else, really. So, um, I've still got, kind of, like, links to, like, land management and agriculture through what I do. So, I think I'll always be, like, an arm's length from it all, really. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, with the farming background, um, Eddie, Eddie and Shirley were on the farm and, um, they were mainly like hill farming. So it's quite like a hard, can be quite harsh conditions. Um, so yeah, just kind of breeding, breeding, uh, you know, lambs for, for the commercial trade really. Yeah. Hill farming, just like rough terrain. So it's not like an easy, an easy kind of um, farming life, I would say, because, you know, it's, it's very up and down and, and um, high up and exposed. So, like, you'd be exposed to, like, adverse weather conditions and quite, cause some of the land's quite inaccessible. So, um, yeah, you can uh, try and uh, check the sheep, like, on a regular basis, but, like, there's always areas you won't be able to get to, you know. Yeah. But um, they absolutely loved it. Like, it was an absolute life. They just absolutely love farming and... Yeah. Um, you know, it's not an easy way of life. It is. It, it has to be. You have to love farming to do it. Like not everyone would be able to sustain it, especially in like really harsh conditions. What's your um, attitude to people like Tesco and Morrison's and? Yeah, I think that 
Um, so many of the prices are dictated by the big supermarkets. And I think it is, you know, that is really, really hard for farmers. Like they haven't got enough control over their products and what happens to them, really. Um, so I think the more that people can support local and, uh, you know, buy locally, I think it just speaks volumes, really. I think it's just so beneficial to the local community, you know. Yeah, yeah. So.